there is fourth grade. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make um, palm trees for your Florida landscapes. The silhouette of a palm tree is really simple to draw. You just got to follow these easy steps. Uh, the first thing is you want to locate your horizon line and where your sun is located. You want the silhouette of your land to be right in between there so you can divide the uh, sky from the water and be creative with the direction of how you want your lines to go. As we know, land, especially the sand, is not perfectly straight and smooth. There's just some minor bumps here and there. Make it look as natural as you can. And then you can decide if you want your land to stay thick all the way around or to go th gradually go thin. Probably going to do some thin areas and maybe some thick areas. And then with your uh, oil pastel, you're going to color it in. I'm using a black uh, permanent marker, but you're going to be using a pastel because it's going to be over your paint and you want it to um, be nice and smooth and to look just like your paint. The Sharpie marker will actually dry out very quick over the paint. It will dry it out. So, so I want you to use a black oil pastel. It's okay if you are not comfortable starting with black first. You can add on pencil. That way you can erase mistake. If you want to play around with your lines first. Get where you want your land to go. Trace with pencil. That's perfectly fine. All right, now we've got our land. Now I'm going to add our palm trees. You can do one big palm tree. You can do three different size palm trees. Don't do too many. Don't go too crazy with them. The ones that are up here further back are going to be small. The ones you want up close are going to be big. All right, so you don't want to put your palm tree over your sun. You want your sun to still be part of your picture. It is your light source. It is sort of the focal point of your piece. So decide where you want your palm trees. I like to uh, do one maybe off to the side of the sun. And be, have fun with the, the lines of your palm tree. Really make it move. Um, I like seeing my palm trees appear as if they're blowing in the wind. Because you don't ever see palm trees looking perfect stick straight palm trees like this perfect sticks yeah no we don't see those they're more natural looking you want your the bottom of your palm tree to be thick and the top of your palm tree to be thin they always start thick and then get thinner you go ahead and color that in get outside the lines you can always touch it up pretend like you didn't do it cover up your mistake all right so the next step once you've got your stem is you're going to then do what I call a firework so you're just gonna go from the center where you left off and you're gonna go shoot out in a curved line and you want to change direction once you get to the top and go around just like that all right, next step, you're going to do some short curved lines coming off of each branch going the same direction. I like to turn my paper around as I am moving through my tree. And most of the time, those little veins on the branches are not really the same size. So it's okay if they're different sizes. It'll make it look even better. And then as you change direction here, you want to make sure you stay with the, the same direction of the curve. So I'm curving to the right now before I was curving to the left. And once you get back to the beginning, 
you're going to then go the opposite direction. So I went to the left, now I'm going to the right. And I'm not really being that careful about it either. The more you let loose, the more realistic your palm tree will be. And turning over, this time I went to the right, now I'm going to the left. And again, you can do all this with pencil first. That way, if you make a mistake, you can erase it. And once you get the lines where you like them, then by all means, trace them with your black pastel. Now I'm going to trace over all these lines so that they connect to the branch. I'm going to make them really pop off the page and stand out. And this is going to finish up the palm tree. And just like your branch went thick to thin, you want these to go thick to thin too, just like a real palm tree. And so you can do easy fix if you don't like how maybe it's too thin, you can always go back and thicken it up. I kind of want just a one big focal point, one nice large palm tree to complement my sun and my landscape, but you can do two, three, however many you want, but since I did this one so big, maybe if I have a little space back here, maybe I could do like a little one in the background, but if you're drawing with pencil, then you can actually draw it out and maybe going a little bit different direction. when you draw smaller it looks as if it's farther away and when you draw big it looks like it's real close up front turn that paper it really helps you stay on track so this is starting to change direction so I gotta go the other way And kind of like like making the letter V several times over and over because you went one way and now you're going the other. And for the final touch, I'm going to just make all my lines connect from the center of the tree. There you have a silhouette of your land and your palm trees.